Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today you guys can see my face again. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this face cam st stuff, uh, but a few of you guys asked for face cam. A few of you guys asked for face cam again, so this is us doing face cam again. Anyway, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna jump into scenarios. You'd have thought that I would have planned this out, but I haven't actually planned anything for this video. So, we're just gonna jump in, we're gonna build a tank, and hopefully it'll be pretty good. Uh, sorry if my mic is popping, I don't have a pop filter on this, so I'll just have to- Oh, that sounds rubbish. That sounds really, really bad when I do this. Anyway, uh, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna go straight into- Junes is something that I don't normally do. Let's do Junes. Let's do Junes. So, because it is Junes- Oh, look at this! It's so cute! It's such a cute little, little bulldozer. Anyway, no, we are not doing the bulldozer on this map. We're gonna go ahead and design something that is essentially a sniper. We'll, we'll drive it up onto the top of a hill, or a dune, I guess, and um, we'll snipe every tank that comes for us. Yeah. I have an idea in my head, and it is very cursed. Let's do that. Let's go with a cursed tank today. It's gonna be interesting. Okie dokie, so this is gonna be kind of interesting the way this works, but we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway because it is interesting. We're doing it for the same reason that it is. Uh, does that make any sense? Probably not. Anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this sprocket quite large. There we go. Uh, we're gonna leave it quite low to the ground. We're then gonna make the other thing the same size. Uh, so if we go to... what is it called? The idler, that's what it's called. Whack that in there, there we go, awesome. And then we put them both at the same height. That is what we want to do. So we'll actually put this at 0.3. That means the idler needs to go to a height of 0.3. Ba 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 bum. There we go. And now they're at the same the same height. That's good. Okay. We're gonna drag these backwards and we're gonna leave those there. We're then gonna add more road wheels. Um, and there is a reason for this. The reason we're going with more is it's gonna become more apparent very soon. Okay, so, what we're gonna do then is gonna go to components, there we go, this is, so far, our tank. Okay, I know it's weird, I know it's strange, but we're gonna go ahead and drag this backwards to there, we're gonna go ahead and grab these guys, and we're gonna drag those forwards to there, I think, yeah, so they're, they're pretty even, and, yeah, the bottom of the tank is gonna look quite ugly. Uh, I'm gonna tell you that now, for free, straight away, the bottom of the tank is gonna look very ugly, but that's okay, because the top of the tank... It's also gonna look very ugly. Uh, right, okay, go to edges. Let's do this. Split that. There we go. So that's the center. We're then gonna split this one. And we're also gonna split this one, which gives us this bit right in the middle right here. Okay. So if we extend this guy upwards, like so, we bring it, um, squidge it. We need to squidge it. There we go. So we're gonna squidge it in. We're gonna squidge it in there as well. There we go. Fan dabby dozy. And squidge it a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So, this is what I want. This. This is actually what I want. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more circular, but that's fine. So we're going to put that right there. We're going to extend this. <laughs> yes. Okay, this is where it gets cursed. We're going to be extending this into the sky, as you guys can see. And um, it's a sniper tank. So the gun is going to go at the top of this. Easy peasy, right? I guess. Okay, so I think what we're going to do now is um, try and make it a little bit more circular. So if we can... We're going to go ahead and squidge that in there. That's done it on both sides. We're going to do this guy as well. Squidge it. There we go. A fly just flew across my screen. That's fine. I extend this one too and squidge this as well. There we go. And now it's a lot more circular, which is exactly what you want. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, well, that makes things look really weird down there. What is going on down there? It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm happy. We've now got a column. <laughs> it's now time to put a turret on the top of said column. Uh, so literally just smack this on there. Hopefully somewhat close to the center. There we go And this is gonna be our turret. It's gonna be fine. Okie dokie So now we're gonna go ahead and extend this guy outwards and we are gonna slowly but surely like merge it together If that makes sense, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, Make it a little bit smaller as we go and that should be fine We're then gonna extend it this way make it a little bit smaller Extend it again, make it even smaller than that, there we go. And do the rear exactly the same way. So even smaller, there we go. To about there, I think, sure. We're then gonna make that smaller like so, and we're gonna smooth all that off, so it's a very round turret. Okay, so far, so good. Now all we need to do is add a gun. <laughs> this is the last thing that we actually need to do. So we're gonna go ahead and smack one of these 
Um, we'll use the T-34 one. It's a, it's an interesting looking turret gun. Mantlet. Mantlet. There we go. So we're going to leave that like that. Pretty good. So far, so good. Okay, so I don't want it to be quite as ugly as it is, um, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and raise this bit up. Oh my goodness. There's some weird stuff going on there, and I don't know why. Oh, that is horrid. Okay, we're going to leave that down there. <laughs> we're going to leave that down there. We're going to extend this guy upwards. We're going to bring it up just like so. Uh, we're going to angle it in slightly. There, okay. And then we're just going to push this backwards into there. So it doesn't look quite as weird. Yeah, I don't want it to look quite as weird. We're then going to extend this guy up to there. Um, grab this guy. Bring it forwards. And we'll leave it like that. Okay. Good. Yeah, that seems alright. <laughs> Maybe. Okie dokie. So now it's time to actually work on the cannon itself. It is the interwar period, so we don't want it to be too big. Uh, but how about an 88mm uh, with rounds that are as big as... I don't know crazy big. We're going to go with eight, 90 mil. It could go through 90 mil. But it'll be able to go through more than that as soon as we add this. And also this. There we go. We're going to put some recoil on that so it actually works. And now we can go through 117 mil of armor. That seems pretty good. Okay, so can we see? Here we can. We can see the enemy already. But we can't shoot because we got no ammo. I don't know why I can't aim down enough. I need to be able to aim down more. So, if I move it down, can we aim down more? No, it, it's just stuck at that, it seems. It seems no matter where I move this to, it is always going to aim the same way. That's a little bit annoying. Um, what if we extend the back backwards a little bit more? Here we go. So, extend the back backwards like so. That actually is a really cool looking turret. I quite like it. Um, go to firepower again. Still 12.2. Still 12.2. It lowers down to 8.4 up there. So we can't actually aim down very far. Um, and I don't know whether that's because this isn't very tall or what. I'm not sure. But we're going to go ahead and increase the height of this. And hopefully that will work a little bit better. So extend this. There we go. We're going to bring it in just a tiny bit. There we go. And actually, it's probably easier to bring it in using this. Because then it squidges properly. Properly. Pro properly. Properly. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. <laughs> that is so ugly. Okay. But it works. Can we aim down far further now? I think we can. Let's go ahead and select the gun and see. 12.2. We can't. We need it to be able to aim down further. 12.2 isn't good enough. Also, side note, I I'm going to bring it back to this. Because it, it looked ugly. And it didn't increase our usefulness. So we're going to leave it as is. There you go. Okay, good. Let's go back to mobility. Um... I wouldn't mind this looking better, to be honest. I wouldn't mind the bottom bit actually looking nicer than this, but um, what we've got so far, I guess it's fine. Uh, I love those. I don't know why I love those, but I do. Uh, we're going to have those. Uh, the idler wheel itself is going to be one of those. There we go. And the sprocket wheel is going to be one of these. Okay. Sure. All right, go to crew. Viewports. Driver's seat. Right in the center, right there. Clearly, nowhere near the gun. That's fine. Um... Commander's Coopla, I guess, can actually go in the turret at the top, right up there. So we're going to whack that in up there, good. Antennae, antennas, antenna, uh, we're going to put right here next to the actual pole itself. And that's it. It's all I kind of want to add, but obviously we're going to be adding more, clearly. All right, let's put this here. And uh, scoot it down so it's a little bit bigger. There we go. And a little bit wider. There we go. Okay, fantastic. We'll leave that like that. Um, there are other things that we desperately need on this, but at the same time, I don't want to go too crazy because it is just a cursed meme tank at the end of the day. That's what it is. So that's what it will be. Uh, can it drive? Okay, it moves. Got no ammo, but it moves. Okay, fantastic. Uh, go to mobility. We're going to have to make this thing quite quick, I would imagine. So a heavy, yeah, all right, we'll leave it with a preset heavy. I think that's probably okay. We're going to go ahead and put the um, these on the back right here and some vents on the top as well, just like so. And then we're going to have some vents up here just so that the, uh, there we go. They get a little bit of air up there. It's going to be quite hot. <laughs> it's going to be quite warm for them. And we're also going to put some vents in here as well. There we go. And the exhaust is just going to be these guys. Um, I don't know where it should go, actually. Maybe even this. 
Yeah, I like these ones. I just wish I could, like, angle them better. But yeah, these... If they go there, maybe you're fine. In fact, make them big. There we go. Bosh that in there. Make it fit. Hey, there we go. Right, move it down, fit it in, and it'll be good. Hey! There we go. That's sick. Okay, so we got our exhaust in there. We got our driver's seat in there. We've got, um... Our engine has been made bigger. We need ammunition, and then we can actually just fight. I think we can fight. This will be this will be good. So ammunition straight in the gun. All right, quite close to the turret. Go. Let's go, guys. <laughs> We're off to war. <laughs> we haven't given them any. Uh, we haven't given them any armor. We have no armor, whatsoever. But we can see over the tops of hills. And clearly, that's what you need to do in the dunes. This is like the best tank for us. There we go, we just killed another one. Our reload time is actually pretty decent. Apparently one of my guys- Oh! Oh, when it burns, it burns. Yeah, that doesn't look healthy, that one. Yeah, when it burns, it does burn. Okay, that's fine. Back into the war, come on. Come on, here we go. I think I missed. I legit think I missed. I didn't miss that time. He's dead. Okay, one more tank remaining. Let's go. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. Okay, can anyone see an enemy tank? Oh, there's another another one of my tanks. Oh, there it is. Hey, victory! Nice! We did it. I don't know how I'm going to get a good thumbnail of this. I, I really don't know. Anyway, um, clearly, it's a, an amazing tank. It works really well. However, it doesn't currently have a livery. Um, I always go with this one. I, I always go with this one. Uh, and I feel like going with it again. So, saturation all the way up. There we go. Oh, it looks beautiful, especially in the desert, actually. That looks quite nice. Uh, decorations, um, decals. I don't know who would make a tank like this. Um, so what I might have to do is put a frantic logo on it. <laughs> this is like, yeah, I made this one. Um, and I think that's okay. Yeah, we can have, we can have frantic logos on it. Why not? Fantastic. All right, we'll go ahead and put a frantic logo on the front too. There we go. Who knows? This might actually be able to do other missions too. In fact, we should try. Alright, we're on the railway map. Let's go. Oh, there is a lot going on here. There is, what, six enemies versus, versus eight of us. There's a lot of rounds already flying out, but not a, not, not a lot of death, actually. Oh, now there is. There we go. Alright, where are these enemies at? I don't even see them. <laughs> I haven't actually been able to see an enemy yet, and uh, a few people have already died. Oh, there's an enemy all the way at the back. Ooh! Ooh, that was a good one! That was a good one! Let's get in there! Charge the enemy! Oh, there's another one all the way back there. Hang on. Oh, it's dead. Okay, we just killed another one. There's one all the way back there. Oh, I didn't hit that one. Aim higher. Oh, I don't think it's dead yet. Aim higher. Hey! Victory! Nice! Alright, so we did the next one. You know what? Why don't tanks like this exist in real life? <laughs> It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's not going to do this one properly, is it? Uh, uh, it is worth mentioning. It still doesn't have any armor. And also, have these maps been updated? Because I don't remember there being any rocks anywhere. I'm not going to lie. There's a few other maps that I've noticed differences in too. Like the ambush map now has like a mountain in the background. I don't know whether that was the case before. I could be wrong. But this one's definitely changed. This one's definitely changed. Anyway, we're going in. Um... Oh, there's, there's 12 of us. Of course there is. There's 12 of us going to war. Let's go, guys. Come on. We look like aliens. I think the bottom of this tank actually looks sick as well, by the way. I actually really like it, but we've made it cursed anyway. Um, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Uh, do we have to get around this? Uh, we might have to get around these rocks. That might be an issue. Maybe. Oh, six enemies have spawned in. Now, where are they? Where, where are they? I don't actually know. They might be on the right still. I see some rocks. I see more rocks. I see... Oh! Enemy there. I see an enemy! I missed. Everybody's missed. My tanks all look silly. This map looks too dark. I feel like... I feel like the maps need to be brighter. This is looking very... Sad. Uh, oh! Here they are. Alright, there's one dead. They're all dying. There we go, that guy's dead. I think they're all dead. Oh, that guy. Oh, no, he's dead too. Alright, we're on to the heavy tanks. 
<laughs> We're under the heavy ones. Oh my goodness. All of my guys are missing. I just... Oh, it ricocheted. Aim higher. There. Alright, that might hit. <gasps> that did hit. It's dead. One of them's dead. I don't know which one. Probably not the one I'm shooting at. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, where are the other ones? <laughs> where are the other ones? Oh, two of my guys have just died. I can't even see the enemy. Oh, there's one. I need to aim higher. I don't know whether we can properly kill these. I'm going in. We gotta get in there. Look at them. <laughs> oh, my tanks are so dumb. All right, we're going in. We're going in. Yeah. Oh, my engine. Is it going to be able to get me up this hill? Be able to get me up this hill? Is that even English? I don't know. All right, let's go. Oh, another panther has been obliterated. Excellent. Another sniper tank has been obliterated. All right, let's get in there. Come on. Is that like a map glitch? What's going on over there? There's like a hole through the map. Oh, no, there isn't. Oh, we just took a round to our stem. Do we call it a stem? I, I guess we do. We're taking hits, but we're okay. With oh, they took out my engine and um, <laughs> my turret's on fire. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that's working normally. Oh, we're dead. Okay. Issues. We got issues. All right. So I'm just I'm literally just trying to work on trying to kill some of the enemies in order to uh, loosen the load a little bit. I've just tracked that guy. All right, hit him in the... F oh, I just died. Okay, we might need them to come to us. We might need them to come to us. Because our tank, remember, only has 10 millimeters of armor. Clearly that sucks. Uh-oh. That one just sniped me. Okay. There's a lot of dead sniper tanks, and it's getting very dark. It's getting very dark. Yikes. Okay, I've only got two tanks remaining. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, yeah, I do. I've only got two tanks remaining. One of them is this one that I'm driving right now, and I don't know where the other one is. Oh, it's also in the hole. So, we could wait for them to push us, uh, or we can just call it a day and say that we can't actually kill the enemies. I don't think we can... We, we, we can, though. We, we do have the ability to kill the enemies. It's just... I don't like long-range battles, especially with 10 millimeters of armor. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one a day. Uh, we're gonna leave this uh, there. So we're gonna go back to back to the missions, okay? And we're gonna do the other interwar mission, the one that is supposed to be an interwar mission. So we're gonna go to ambush. This one is not suited for this tank because the enemy spawns. Well, the enemy spawns are all around us, and we have 10 millimeters of armor, so that sucks. But anyway, we can turn our gun around, and we can aim it towards the enemy, and you know. We can kill the enemy, so that's good. But us having a really big stem is not really an advantage on this map. Not really. Anyway, we are killing them. We're one-shotting literally all of them. Is that guy dead? Now he is. Okay, that's good. Um, oh, I just killed the big one at the back. Easily. There we go. So yeah, this tank just wins. It just wins. But anyway, um, I'm going to end this video here for now. If you guys like the face cam, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys didn't like the face cam, also let me know in the comments down below. And um, let me know what you want to see next. Because honestly, I really am enjoying Sprocket at the minute. And this was fun. This was very fun. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Oh, actually, before we end, um, my Twitter is linked down below if you guys want to follow me on Twitter. And also my Discord's linked down below as well, where you can share your Sprocket stuff and other games, actually. But uh, yeah, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. See you next time. Goodbye.